and you can see we have well one tank one and well two and as usual we will do history matching for this case okay you can open the history matching tab all right you can see we will do analytical method graphical method and we will see the energy plot and we will run simulation and we will also do this one okay the matching for the fractional flow okay so let's go ahead let's try analytical method first you can see this is the pressure data and this is the pressure results assuming no aquifer clearly you can see it doesn't match so the first thing that i will do is to put or to create an aquifer for this model okay so let's click finish double click and go to water influx step all right i will make an aquifer and i will choose this model first fun everdingen modified method i will assume radial aquifer as a four thickness 250 let's say i already analyze this aquifer and i input the results or the information for this aquifer into this step and later on i will again do the history matching Reservoir for radius 2500 with ratio of six encroachment angle 250 with aquifer permeability of seven done okay so now we have water influx we have aquifer history matching analytical method that's better right you can see this is the data and the results with aquifer influx is shown by this blue line whereas for the results without aquifer influx is shown by this red line okay to obtain a more perfect matching i can do regression okay and i will let's say adjust oil in place radius i already know the reservoir radius so i will not check this one i will also regress the encroachment angle I'm quite satisfied with the reservoir thickness, so I will put it. Aquifer permeability already good. Aquifer permeability, I will regress. Okay. And let's say for this one, I will put it at these numbers. And then this one, seven. Encroachment angle, 250 with 300 aquifer permeability from 5 to 7 okay let's calc all right so the regression has been completed and this is the numbers oil in place outer inner radius encroachment angle aquifer permeability so no significant change actually from the original input so let's check it out use this one okay done all right so we have achieved if i say it a perfect match okay so now let's say we can trust these results the new oil in place the new outer inner radius encroachment angle and aquifer permeability with the other parameters kept being constant click done okay so now we have done the history matching finish let's check the graphical method okay the first method already quite good and this is the results all right quite close with the analytical method results let's check Another method, Haflina Odeh, very good. 
and this is the oil in place calculated from half line or death. So I'm satisfied with this. Another method. Very good. This is the result. And then, all right. Campbell method. Good. Also good. Okay. So the results from graphical methods differ very slightly. So I'm confident right now that the oil in place is close to 218 million stock tank barrel of oil. Okay. All right. This one is also good. Lastly, do you wish to save? Oh, I prefer not. Okay. So this one from this last method, assuming no aquifer. So I will not prefer this method to assess the result, right? Okay, so I'm quite satisfied with the matching result from graphical method. Okay, let's check the energy plot. All right, interesting. So you can see that the dominant drive mechanism for this reservoir is water influx. We also have fleet expansion and pore volume compressibility. All right, that's, that's natural, that's automatic. All reservoirs will have fluid expansion and pore volume compressibility contributions. But in this case, we also have water influx as the major, as the dominant drive mechanism. Okay. And we can also say that the aquifer model and the aquifer parameters are already reliable. Click finish. History matching. Show all, all right. The analytical method, the drive mechanism or energy plot, and also the graphical method. And here we have this one already match also. This one is actually this one. Okay. The flow rate versus the dimensionless time. It shows the quality, the good quality of the matching we have achieved. Okay, click done, history matching. And now I will also do run simulation. Calculate. Completed. Very fast. And I will plot. History, I will show the tank pressure. This is the tank pressure from history. This is data. And the simulation, tank pressure, the red line is the result, whereas the black dots are the data. So you can see we have achieved perfect match between the real data and the simulation. Okay, and then remove all history. I have data for cumulative oil production. And I will show the cumulative oil production from simulation. Okay, which one? This one, perfect match. Okay, but now due to the simulation, I can show you the oil flow rate. I don't have the data for oil flow rate from the data, from the well results or well data. Okay, I only prepare cumulative oil production data, not the oil flow rate. But from simulation, I can extract the oil flow rate, and that's why. I want to show you the results. Average oil rate, this one. This is the production from well one. And this is the production from well one and well two. What about the gas rate, the same trend? Water rate, okay. And also recovery factor. This one is also very important. You can see up to 2002, we still achieve 21%, the recovery factor. Quite good, but I think we can increase the recovery factor, for example, by continuing the production or by adding another infill well, right? 
what about the oil saturation? You can see the oil saturation drops due to production, of course, from 85% to 68%, which is still quite high. So you can see by continuing the production or by adding another well, we can increase the recovery and we can decrease the saturation further. And also you can check the aquifer influx. Of course, this influx is calculated using the, the method that we selected, the Hearst and Van Everdingen modified method. You can also get the reservoir voidage, right? No injection, reservoir voidage balance, and others. All right, so very, very interesting. Okay, so we have completed the data preparation. So we also combine the production from well one and well two and combine them into the reservoir. And also I add up reservoir pressure data from monitoring well, and I've done the history matching, analytical method, graphical method. I show you the energy plot. And now we will do this one, all right? The fractional flow matching. And after that, we will do production prediction, all right? So let's go ahead.